In this video, I'm going to share with you an author that easily adds an extra $5,000 per month to her income without much effort. We'll look at what this author has done and what you can do similar to this to increase your monthly income from publishing books on Amazon KDP. Welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for taking the time to join me here today. If you are already subscribed to my channel, I'm so happy to see you back here. And if you are not already subscribed, please consider doing so because I would really love to see you back here next week. I was browsing the Amazon marketplace a couple of weeks ago, as I like to do, looking for books that are doing well and publishers that have built up a series of interesting books in different kinds of niches to see if I can get any ideas of marketing strategies that they may be using that I haven't used myself already. And during this research, I noticed a fiction author that has done something really interesting and I thought it was just such a good idea. So what we'll do is we'll take a look at this author and the kind of books that she publishes and what she's done to add extra income to her business with pretty minimal effort. Once we have done that, we'll also talk about the ways that you can do something similar regardless of the kinds of books that you publish. So by that, I mean regardless of whether you publish low content or high content books and also regardless of what niche you're in. So some of you may have heard of this author. Her name is Sarah J. Maas and Sarah publishes fantasy fiction books. And while she has been publishing for quite a while and she's done fairly all right over the time period that she has been publishing books and has done well with it, she did skyrocket with the book talk trend that has become really popular for marketing and promoting books over the last few years. We'll just quickly head over to Amazon to take a look at her books in case you haven't heard of this author or these books before. Her most popular books are the Court of Roses and Thorns books. I mean, look at the amount of reviews and ratings that she has. These three books are each sitting within the top 100 of all books on Amazon. Now, this author is traditionally published. She does not self-publish through Amazon KDP. And and so we have no idea, we can't even guess or estimate how much money she makes through her publisher for selling these books. But what we can say is that if she was self-publishing her books through Amazon KDP, she would be making millions of dollars every year from her books. Whether she makes a similar amount to that, less or more through her publisher, we don't know. That aside, it's not actually her fiction books that caught my eye. It was this one here, A Court of Thorns and Roses coloring book. I'm always looking out for popular or even just something different, low and medium content books. I love these kind of books because I think it's a really fun and accessible way for people to start publishing books. But in this case, the idea behind this is going to suit people who already have books published where you can add on to them in a really unique way. Now, yes, I know this is a massively successful and popular author. I understand she has a massive following or a massive fan base, but we all have to start from somewhere just like Sarah J Maas did. And the success that she sees now is after years of hard work. So please just use this as inspiration. Don't be overwhelmed by the popularity of this author and her books. Use this as inspiration and as a way of how you can boost your own income by working smarter, not harder. So let's have a quick look at this coloring book or what we can see of it anyway, because it isn't published through Amazon KDP. We can't see the look inside feature, so there's no insight into the type of pages within this book. Sometimes we can scroll down and see videos which will show the inside of the book. So we'll take a quick look. So it looks like one side is a coloring page and opposite the coloring page looks like it might have some quotes or excerpts from her books. And if you're a reader of these books, you'll probably know who these characters are and what's going on in these actual coloring images. And if we just take a quick look at sort of the technical specifications of the book, it's 96 pages selling for $11.72. And it's currently sitting with a bestseller rank of 1,952, which is an absolutely fantastic bestseller rank. Let's just say this book was published through KDP, or let's say you were able to get a book to a similar kind of 
of bestseller rank, then that would mean this book would be selling approximately 1,354 copies per month. I got this figure from using the TCK Publishing Amazon Sales Calculator, which uses that bestseller rank to give an estimate of how many books would be selling each month with that BSR. For anyone who is new and does not know what a BSR is, it's just a number that's given to every book or product within the Amazon marketplace to rank that particular book in popularity with customers. So the lower the number, the better, and the lower that number, the more books that you are selling. Now to publish a book similar to this through KDP, which would be a 96 page black and white book selling for $11.99. This means that we would receive a $4.35 royalty for every book sold. So $4.35 is what we would get each time this book sold into our bank account. So 1,354 books sold every month with a $4.35 royalty means we'd be making around $5,890 per month from this one book, which isn't even the main kind of book that we're publishing. The reason that this actually caught my attention is because I thought what a great way to leverage an existing readership or an existing customer base to create an additional income that you wouldn't have had otherwise and also without having to put in a ton of extra effort. Like I said earlier, working smarter, not harder. It's so much easier to sell something to a group of people who already love what you do, have already purchased books from you before, than it is to sell something totally new or to a totally brand new audience who hasn't heard of you or hasn't heard of anything that you've done before. And this can work with all sorts of different types of books in different niches. So don't think that just because you don't publish fiction books that you can't do something similar to this. It also doesn't have to be coloring books that you create as these add-on products. Depending on what kind of books you do publish, there is always going to be something related that your customers like or they'd be interested in purchasing just because it's from you that you can create or at least have somebody create for you. In this case, particularly though with coloring books, these can work as an add-on product to a few different kinds of books. Low content books like journals are one. If you do publish journals, particularly guided prompt journals around mindfulness or around anxiety or removing stress, it can make a lot of sense to create a coloring book as an add-on product because coloring books are promoted as things that can help with these sorts of things like anxiety and stress. Another type of book that coloring books can work really well with with is children's picture books. Do you publish children's books? If you can create a book or a series of books with characters that kids can relate to or find really funny or just really like and enjoy reading and looking at, then they would probably love to see these characters in coloring books or even in an activity book of some kind. Basically, you will be creating and publishing a low or medium content book that will complement the higher content books or even the lower content books like a journal that you already have published and can be thought of as an add-on or an upgrade even for your customers when they purchase from you, increasing their order value and in turn increasing the royalties that you receive. And it's a lot easier to get one existing customer to buy more from you than it is to go and find a brand new customer and convince them to buy one of your books. If you think of it sort of like an extreme version of merchandising, we can do something similar, but on a much smaller scale. Say there's a a book or a TV show that gets really popular. Let's say Bluey, for example. I think everybody has heard of Bluey. Once this show became popular, there's books, coloring books, toys, clothes, and all sorts of products related to the Bluey franchise because it's all about the power of leveraging that existing customer base who are already loving your products. Maybe you do publish higher content books and want to think of some ways that you can create some of these add-on products to your own business. You don't have to be a fiction author or a fiction publisher to do this. If you publish non-fiction, there are always add-on books that you can publish that complement your main books. For example, if you publish self-help books, you can create 
workbook type of low content books or even a journal, a guided journal to go along with your books. Ryan Holiday is very popular for his content around the Stoics and living life according to the philosophies of the Stoics. Here on Amazon, he has a very popular book called The Daily Stoic, 366 Meditations on Wisdom, Perseverance and the Art of Living. He's extremely popular on across all social media, has a very popular YouTube channel as well where he talks about this stuff. This book is currently sitting at number 220 in the Amazon bookstore, one of the most popular books on Amazon. He then created a companion to this book called The Daily Stoic Journal, 366 Days of Writing and Reflection on the Art of Living. This is a low content book. He is published as an add-on product, or maybe you could call it an upgrade, where he's getting people who already love his books to buy this journal because it will help them be proactive and live the way he talks about in his high content book. Plus, he is just adding to the amount of books he has published and, of course, increasing how much money he's going to be making from these books. This is just a few examples of the ways that you can leverage that existing customer base that you have from your current books to help bump up your income while also providing your customers with more products from you that they're going to love. What kinds of ideas are they giving you on what low or medium content books you could possibly publish to complement your other low content books or your high content books or even your children's books, whatever it is that you publish. I hope that this video has given you some ideas or at least got your mind going about ways that you can use this idea of the power of leverage. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.